Hey guys, it's Mike from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to draw and read energy profile diagrams of multi-step reactions. Let's take a look at the first example. So the first question is asking us to draw an energy profile for the following mechanism of, a ex of an exothermic reaction. And we can see that this reaction happens in two steps. The first step is slow, and then the second step is fast. Let's start by just drawing out the, the diagram. So we'll draw the diagram and we'll label the y-axis as potential energy. And we'll label the x-axis as reaction coordinate. Then we can just arbitrarily start with start anywhere and say that's the energy of the reactants. So the first step is slow. If the reaction is slow because it has a uh, high activation energy. So since this reaction is slow, we're going to make the activation energy or the, the peak really, really high. And it doesn't, it doesn't really tell us whether this first reaction is exothermic or endothermic, so it doesn't really matter if we end above or below the starting point. If it did give us that information, then it would matter. So if this first step did tell us it was endothermic, then we'll stop right here. And if it tells us that the first step was exothermic, then we'll end right down here for the first step. But since it doesn't, we'll just arbitrarily stop right here. So that, that would be the, the curve for the first step. Now the second step is fast, so if it's fast, it's going to have a smaller activation energy, so we're going to make the hump smaller. And then it tells us this reaction overall is exothermic. So if it's exothermic, it means that the product is going to end up lower than the reactant. So we'll say that the product is down here, and then all we have to do is just connect the curve. So just to summarize what happened, this is a two-step reaction, so that's why we have two, two peaks. Um, the first reaction is slow. The first step is slow, so that's why the, the, the peak of the first curve is bigger than the peak of the second curve. And it's exothermic, so that's why the products have less energy than the reactants. Now let's take a look at the, another energy profile diagram, and let's answer the following questions. It's asking us how many steps are in there, in there in this reaction. Well, there are two peaks, so that means there are going to be two steps. If there were three peaks, then that would be three steps, and four peaks, four steps, and um, et cetera. Then it's asking us, which step is the slow step? So the slow step is the step that has the highest activation energy. We can label the activation energy of the first step. It will be like this, and then the activation energy of the second step would be would be this. So whichever step has the higher activation energy is going to be the slow step. And we can see that the second, the second peak had the higher activation energy, so we'll say step two is the slow step. Next question, which step is the rate limiting step? Well, the slow step is the rate limiting step. So since the second step is slow, the second step will be the rate limiting step. And then lastly, is this reaction endodermic or exothermic overall? So to determine that, we just compare the energy of the, the reactants to the energy of the products, and you can see that energy went up. That means this reaction was absorbing energy, so it's a endodermic reaction. And that's how you would read and draw up energy profile diagrams for multi-step reactions. So just recap, the number of peaks or the number of humps is equal to the number of steps. The slow step will have the higher activation energy. And then you also have to look at whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic to determine whether the products have more energy or less energy than the reactants. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.